Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with Grover Games. Um, as you can see, we are not on Elm Creek today. It is currently the month of January. We've been invited out to no man's land, they call it. And we're going to give ourselves a test run at how well we can survive out here. The only thing we got is our chainsaw, our trusty trailer here, which is set up for logging, and our old Ford truck here, so... We got a little piece of ground out there. We're going to drive out there today. Uh, we're going to have to get enough wood harvested today. So that way we have a place to stay at tonight. Otherwise, we probably won't survive this winter very well. It's the month of January. And just as a little side note, I was on this map editing some stuff, so... It looks a little goofy up here. It's because originally I was putting in my own sawmill, sawmill or sail point heating. What is it? The biomass heating plant. And I didn't realize this map's been updated with a point where you can sell logs now. I know way earlier when it first came out it didn't, but we got that quality of life feature now. But we're coming out here, and we're gonna make something work. And a lot of this. A lot of this playthrough is going to be a lot of two... I think we're going to try to stick with two-wheel drive tractors, some of the older equipment as we build out here. And we'll see how long we can make it last. i am see if I give in to frustration of logging before it's all said and done, or maybe we'll make this map a little bit of something of our own. But we're just going to be starting with, like, the normal... the normal piece of ground that you always start with if you would come in here a new farmer and such. We're almost there, actually, already. Because I, I thought about grabbing a different piece of grant land and starting out with, but... In a lot of reality of things... This one's kind of a nice setup, just a lot of flat ground. You're right close to a lake here for water if you need it. Get off the truck here. Oh, forgot to change the time speed. Gonna keep playing on six times speed here. Um, some of the rules I'm setting myself for this playthrough is that we are not allowed to lease anything. Everything must be bought. No loans. And we're and that's the two major things. We are not gonna be playing on hard economy. I figure one playthrough is enough as is right now. Instead, we'll be playing on normal economy. So right now. We're going to jump a little time lapse here, and we're going to get to chopping a bunch of these trees down. So we'll see you guys through it all. Oh, come on. There we go. But yeah, I figured give it, give us a chance to make something our own. I'll give No Man's Land another chance. Like I said, it's never been a bad map. It's just a map that I never felt like I could personally make my own. Like I've, I've seen a lot of YouTubers make... A lot of cool stuff out of No Man's Land. And I just... I don't know. It's either my OCD that gets the best of me, or my creativity is not as good as I like to say. Right off these few stumps here. But I figure we'll... First thing first we'll have to do is we'll have to get a house made for the night. Um, I got some mods that got some relatively cheap houses. There's one I downloaded that... This a little bit ago that had like a log cabin feel. I kind of want to go for that one. But I also remember that. We got a little bit of a budget to kind of hang on to. And I know there's like hobo houses and such. Like I think they're only like a thousand bucks for a house. Which is probably what we should really start out with. Um, But I think our first main goal is that we're going to at least get enough to buy our first... Get our first house bought. Try and trim these limbs here. Get our first house bought at least. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Still trying to remember what is too much for the average guy to pick up here. Oh, that's a little too long. We'll have to trim it. But we'll... We'll end up buying a house, and then I think our next purchase after that will probably be a smaller tractor with a loader. Oh. 
Okay, that's how it's gonna be. I try to cut it down and fit it on the trailer, and the whole other part of it disappeared, so. But yeah, we're, we're gonna try. I think our first purchase after the house might be, like I said, a smaller tractor, so that way we can load up bigger logs and get a little bit more of an income. Just a steady income coming for us when we're sitting here doing trees. It'd be kind of hard to find everything in here, ain't it? I think I'm going to pull the truck up a little closer so we don't have to run. Well, you know what? I'll get a bunch of trees cut down and then go through getting rid of a bunch of getting rid of a bunch of the stumps and then we'll pull the truck in there. But I think we'll probably start taking out all this, most of this stuff here. Start with a lot of the lower trees first. Hopefully we can Hopefully we can get enough money made off these limbs that we will be able to buy a decent sized tractor and like I said get a loader and then we'll be able to load some of the bigger stuff up. And I think after that we might look into buying some like a little little hen house or something, get get some eggs coming in, buying a little greenhouse and so that way we have a little bit of a steady income so we can survive off the land out here. So I think we'll jump into a little time lapse here. Um, I'm, I haven't decided if I want to make this like a two hour special episode, you know, like just cause it's the first episode. It's probably not going to be a weekly upload type thing. It'll probably be like every other weekend or something like that. I haven't decided. It depends how how much free time I have right now and today I kind of I kind of feel pretty good because I got quite a, I got most of the recordings caught up again after the whole video issue which is still video sync issue which is still going on I haven't heard anything back I'm guessing hmm come on why okay no it's fine but the whole video sync issue is still going on yet. We're, I haven't heard anything back from the company, so I guess for now I'm just do, doing my own temporarily fix. So hopefully that gets fixed sooner rather than later because it's just a little frustrating to, that something like that happened. But, you know, it's nothing they could have foresaw coming either, I am guess, from what I'm hearing. I mean, a bug's a bug no matter what. And it was just unfortunate it had to be one of the main things I use, so. But yeah, like I said, we'll skip it in the time lapse here, finally. There we go. Now I can finally chop that limb. Bugging me. And we'll see how far we get today, so we'll see you guys in a bit.
As you probably noticed, and I'm starting to struggle trying to get this all in one trip, but I refuse to leave any log behind right now. I'm gonna get this all up there. You know what? This has been kind of a relaxing experience so far, besides the logs, plain Jenga logs here, trying to get it all stacked up on the trailer. Nice and such. And just taking me a little bit to figure out what the right length is and what the weight is. It looks like we can only handle like oh, 200 kgs worth of weight. So that's kind of good to know when cutting logs. I they never had that before in the last farming simulator. So at least when I'm logging, I can try and cut off what I need for us. Oh, geez. A lot more chunks behind here than I realize yet, but we're going to get it all in one trip. That is my goal right now. Get it all in one trip, and I'm it's I'm I'm at high hopes right now for first income. The one thing I'll have to check double check is to make sure the settings on normal, not hard yet, because I do not want to try to do this on a on a hard economy playthrough. I think it would it would go stale a lot faster than the one the playthrough I got going on now on Elm Creek. And plus only only playing one of those at a time is kind of a Oh, come on. We can get up there, stay. There we go. Playing one of those right now is is enough, especially with my schedule in life. I think we only got these two chunks here left. And we'll be ready to strap her all down and set off for the road. Well, not really the road, but set back up to the main road and get this stuff sold off. Aw, uh, dang it. Let's drop that. Oh. Hopefully that doesn't cause any issue down there. We are getting extremely close to rub hitting the back end of the bumper with all these logs here. Let's see if we can... Ah, uh, that's what I was afraid of. We're just gonna put that up there. At least get a look some of these bigger chunks back up here maybe. Come on. Uh This is worse than Jenga right now. Pull one piece and everything comes falling down. There we go. I think we can make this work here. Okay. There we go. Come on. We almost got it. There. That log is stuck there. Okay. You know what? We're calling it good enough. <laughs> Jeez, that rear end is really sagging on the truck right now. But right, let's... Get our first load out of here. I think the one thing that's always bugged me about farming simulator, even when you have nothing, you still get like a daily fee charge to you. As you can see, we're negative 40 bucks now, which, whoop. I missed a log. Okay, little guy, put you in the back in here. Hopefully got it all now, but we got quite a few trees down. Doesn't look like much right now, but we'll get her there. I'm hoping we have enough. Wow, this is actually really struggling. This is kind of kind of cool, not going to lie. But I suppose the snow isn't helping either. But we'll... 
head on back up to the roadside here and see what we get for our first first load of logs. I don't know if we'll do another batch for this episode. We'll see what we we'll see where we're at. It looks like there's snow in the forecast too, which doesn't bode well for us if we want for us wanting to get our house set up and everything before it comes. Like I said, I have an eye on a house I would like to get, but it's like eighteen thousand dollars, and there's just there's just a more feasible one for the situation we're in, especially since especially since we don't really need need an eighteen thousand dollar house right now, especially when. There's no neighbors out here to judge us. We got eight thousand dollars so far. Did it not register the rest? Uh oh. I'm guessing we're not all the way on the platform like we should be. Two hundred fifty-seven. So right now we're a little over nine thousand dollars, which isn't it a bad feeling. Let's try resituating the truck here. I wonder if we gotta be fully on the pad like so. Yep, we do. And I forgot to check to see if, yep, we're on normal economy, so we're good there as well. Get the rest of this filled. And it just started snowing. But we're off to a pretty decent start already. I didn't even bother to see what's on the used market here, just out of curiosity. Nothing we can afford, which doesn't surprise me. I'm wondering. I should just this trip around if we should just start if we should just focus on all the really little trees here or if we should take a few big ones down again like we did before cuz I know we got enough for the house I was the little house starter house I was looking at but we don't have enough for one of the tractors I was looking at it's a fairly cheap one I I think just stock with it was like eight thousand, but the thing is we still gotta buy a loader for it yet. Which could be quite a bit of money as well. But I'm trying to figure out what is the best step for our next Wonder if we should I think we're going to try to stick to the smaller trees here. And we'll jump into another time lapse here. And I think we'll do one more round. Like I said, this will probably be a little longer than the normal episodes. Just because we're getting started out. Deer's coming out already too. But yeah, I think we'll make this... We'll do this for another few rounds here. I think we'll try to get all these little trees knocked out. Looks like I missed a stump over there. So I feel like if we get at least get rid of most of the smaller trees first, that leaves us more opportunity with when we get our tractor and we be able to load up the bigger logs and make a little more money off off that stuff. So maybe I'll just go through here and try and knock out all these little trees. Plus they'll stack a little nicer too. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll kind of leave all these bigger trees here for now. But we'll jump into the time lapse here. And we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, I think we're gonna call this a load. Not as, not as big as logs that we had on the earlier one, but you know what? We got a lot of the little trees cleared out. I, like I said, I kind of trying to avoid the bigger trees right now. I'm hoping that we can. Let's get all the bands on. There we go. I'm hoping that we can avoid most of them till we get a tractor at least. Well, it's gonna be rubbing into the bumper, but woo. Never really driven in this game with snow. Never had really, not really had the, like good snowfall like I ha have on this map right now. So it's a little different driving it. But I think after we get this load sold, we might call it an episode. I got to make supper. Forgot yet tonight, and it's alright. Getting pretty near, pretty near that time where I need to get it started and going. So by the time the girlfriend gets home, that's ready. But we're gonna get these logs sold at least, and then we'll call it a day. And like I said, this will probably be a, maybe a once a week special, if that, just cause. So, you know, if that, if we even get time to keep going at it, cause there's another series I would like to start. One of my favorite games went on sale, and I'm thinking about picking it up and doing, starting that, and it would be an extremely, extremely long playthrough. It's, it's a trilogy game, and it's on sale for like $25 right now, which would be really good deal for it. We got about, oh, get this last little chunk. Oh, oh. I always forget this door's, this truck's got doors you can mess with. So, $16,000, so we're not doing too bad right now. I think, I think for now, I was going to show the tractor, but I think I'll leave that for a surprise, because I think I'll pick that up in between episodes, maybe. But I don't know if we have enough to get the loader and the, the look at the loader pricing and such yet. But I don't think I'm going to have enough to. Yeah, seven grand for a loader. That's. Especially if. Well, I would want to get the Howard brand one. And you'll see. You'll see why. When we get to that point, so nine grand. So we would need at least another good load of trees. What about front loader? Oh, that's front loader tools. Yeah, that's what I want. That telehandler. Let's see. Do we not have? Okay, there's a log fork. Almost three thousand dollars for a log fork. But I think I thought I saw someone like using one of these. These to lift logs, which would probably be more up my alley, just because it'd be easier for me, but... We're... Okay. Apparently the sun got rid of all the snow that came already, but we're gonna end it up. On that note, we're gonna end this episode. I would like to thank you all so much for lightning... What? Blah. For watching the video today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. It lets me know that you want to see more stuff from No Man's Land and this kind of survival series we started. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date when I put upload no videos. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and thanks for watching.